Okay, guys, it's time. It has been over seven, not over seven months, almost seven months since I, uh, I finished Subnautica. So, I mean, it's about time I, uh, I started Subnautica Below Zero. I mean, I said it'd only be a couple weeks before we started it at the end of Subnautica, and I mean, it's only been six and a half months. Now, mind you, I am not looking forward to this because, again, I have a fear of the water. More specifically, I have a fear of being in water and not being able to see what is below me. Now, I understand that is a very common fear. Uh, was it like there's a there's a certain name for it? It is a uh, uh, thas thalassophobia thalassophobia or whatever the fear of water or fear of not knowing what's below you in deep water or fear of deep water or large bodies of water to be specific yeah that's uh that's what that's why we don't want to play subnautica but we are going to so we're going to hop in here on survival and we're going to wait for this to load this is the farthest that i can take you on company space bucks robin you, sure you get a you cut scene this? nice the research is in everything with it audio. Oh, and I talk. And Sam, I need to know what happened. The Time to be quiet. Storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Un Unknown World Entertainment presents. I can't talk. I don't know why. Surface temperatures. Why is it as well? Every time we come to this damn planet, we have to crash land. Hey, at least we didn't get knocked out this time. It's just now we're going to die in a ball of fire. Because nobody packed a fire extinguisher and the door stuck. Pick it. Pick it. That's nice. Welcome to 4546 feet. Enjoy your stay. That's just perfect. Okay. So, this is Subnautica Below Zero. Is this. Nutrients block. I bet there's a bunch of stuff around here. I should probably pick up. New blueprint synthesized. Filtered water. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here in the ground. Ooh, that's scary. I don't want to get nailed by something. Um, anything else? I feel like that's it. So it wants me to head towards that pod. So that's obviously what we're gonna do so there is a, a bit of a newer mechanic now in the game where now we actually have to worry about there's a bunch of food laying around I'm gonna get it we actually have to worry about our temperature so I could actually freeze to death for not being in the water like see she's starting to like rub her hands together and also though we got like little oh, plants smoke. like this that will warm us up they're kind of like, you know, like how in the water we originally even had plants that would give... Ow, I burnt myself because I touched it. Uh, we had plants in the water in the previous game that would give us oxygen if we uh, started running out when we were too deep. Now we got plants that are will warm us up if we're too far from the water to hop back in to warm up. So, this is pretty interesting. Ooh, I see penguins! Now, I exactly do not know where we are on the map here. Um, Subnautica Below Zero is also one of the only, uh, like, well, not only, the only game. There's a bunch of games I haven't done this from. Uh, but out of the Subnautica games, it's the only one I have done no research on, and I actually have no idea about what to do in terms of the story. Like, I understand, like, I've seen the ending, alright? I've seen that. I don't understand anything between this part right here into there. So, also, where'd those penguins go? They're right there. I was trying to find them all. I, there was that one iceberg that was just filled with them. What happened? 
Look at you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can pick these things up. That is something that I might do. Um, do I just start kidnapping penguins right next to ooh, their parents? Also, Arctic New peeper. Huh. Nice. Free one. I didn't even have to swim after it. So, let's get over here to the... What is it? My little... I guess this would be technically my lifeboat. Because, uh, you know how back in the previous game we had the lifeboat? This would technically be it. My uh, little uh, starting area. Starting safe base or whatever. Respawn point with a crafting yeah, table and storage. Pod. Drop pod. That's what it's called. Uh... I want What's to this? offer my sincerest okay. condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as pacemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, Devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Okay, so we're already starting to get some audio logs, and it looks like I got a bunch of them here from Sam. So what I might do here is I'm actually going to sit back. We're going to listen through a couple of these, and then if I find any that are important, I will uh, stop it and we'll play it for you guys to all listen to. Okay, so I just listened through all those, and uh, it sounds like Sam, uh, our main character, Robin... Here, sister, um, worked for Altera. Now, Altera was the company that, in the previous game, we worked for. And, uh, yeah. So now it sounds like in this game, they're the bad guys, and they're back on, uh, this, pl on the planet that Subnautica takes place on, and they found a frozen Leviathan that is still infected with the Karar... Karar virus, the virus that we were infected with in the previous game and had to cure ourselves of before we could escape. Yeah, it's apparently we they found one that's infected with that. They're trying to make a bioweapon with it, and so it sounds like they offed Sam, and then for some reason, Robin, our main character here, decided, I may as well just go to this planet and figure out what the hell happened. Like, not like you didn't just get it in a voicemail. But it looks like it is time for me to probably start heading out to go get some tools and all that. Now, I just cooked that one peeper that I caught, and oh my god, it's night. Uh, let's catch a couple fish. Discovered. Is this an arctic peeper? Yep. It seems like the fish move a lot slower in this game, or at least they're not trying to uh, get away from me yet. Also, I gotta remember, I only have like 30 seconds of oxygen. So I got titanium... I really should uh, go in here and actually set, because I'm pretty sure I can pin things, if I recall, and I can set up a list of tools I need to get. Oh, uh, what's this? I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Okay, so it's Robin making, like, personal notes, but it also sounds like, from that personal note, she has been in situations like this before. Where she is just dropped in and expected to, to survive on her own. So, yeah, I guess that's something to look forward to. So, we need, boom, that. And to get that, we need... Well, we also need a, a knife. So to get that stuff, I need... Creep vine sample. I need the creep vine seeds first. Where do I find creep vine? I have... What is that? Oh, okay, it's just a swarm of fish. Alright, I already see creep vine. It's just dark. And, uh... Oh my god. 
Again, I still don't like the water. Why did you guys vote for this one? Why couldn't you just pick the Tall Tale Games Walking Dead? I don't see any creep vine seeds. I'm gonna just use the flare. Because it adds a layer of comfort that I really want right now. Called light. Also, what is this thing? Is this one of those oxygen ones? Yes, it is. Boom, so I can replenish my oxygen. What's down here? What is... What is that? Is that a sea glide fragment? Oh, you know what that is? All right. So there's these one creatures in the game, I believe, called sea monkeys. Um, I believe that is one of their, like, nests. Because I did be do believe I did see one earlier here when I entered the creep vine area. So if I come up here, there's probably one just ready to steal something from me. But seeing how I don't have anything, he really... Oh, okay, there's the creep vine seeds. I don't have anything, so he probably won't steal it unless he wants a flare. He can steal all the flares he wants. Okay. Okay, we're going to grab a couple of these. Let's just clean it out. There we go. Okay, let's surface for oxygen. We only got 18 seconds. So I can make lubricant, or I can make... Uh... Oh my god, I can't see a thing. Nope. We're going back in the water. I, uh, I, I mean, it's like a blizzard up here. You can't, like, you can only see, like, ten feet in any direction. Oh, my. Hey, you come here. I need you for water. Ladderfish. I love those things. I used to have a tank filled with them, but then I accidentally put an infected one in there, and then they all got infected. Okay, so not only did I get me a knife crafted, I also was able to craft me up a pair of flippers just because I had extra silicone rubber. Now, what we're going to do here is, you know what we should do? Oop, not hit escape because that's the, not the right button. I need to hit tab. That's the worst part as well about this game because I'll get in the habit of hitting tab and then I'll go back and try and play, play arc. And then I'll hit tab, and then I'll hit some random buttons, and I'll accidentally put in, like, a command I didn't want to. You won't believe how many times I did that in the last week. Just, like, because... Alright, one time it was intentional. I was trying to put in the remove the fog command while I was trying to go get artifacts so I could go get more element. Because I was originally setting up for a video here where we were going to go do uh We were going to set up a tech breeding area. And we were also going to go try and get some mutations on the pyro mains. But I changed my mind on that. Just because, like, once I got going there, it was like, I mean, this is a boring video. I do this all the time. And that's honestly what it, I feel like my arc has become recently. It's just boring. Because I'm at that stage in the game where I have tech. I have access to tech. But I don't want to restart. But I also do feel like I need to restart because the game is way too easy. I got to tech way too fast. I mean, back in my uh, my previous run of Ark, like when I went to another map as well, I barely allowed myself to transfer anything or I wasn't allowed to transfer anything at all. And now in the, this these last couple series, like even like going in between the center and then, and then uh, even Scorched Earth, like, I even, like, back on Scorched Earth said when the center comes out, we're not going to go over with anything, and I went over with two creatures. Mind you, I did make it random on what two creatures it was, which I felt like would be okay at the time, but it's... Yeah, it was... It was a bit ridiculous. And also, with Aberration being announced to be coming out September 4th... Sep I can't talk. September 4th, and hopefully with no delays... I mean, I really wonder if I should just restart arc and set the goal to be like just do my best and see how far i can get before aberration gets out you know and plan to do aberration as soon as possible but like with my current series i could keep it going and then like i could just leave aberration there on the side to do later you know like in my new in my current arc series we're trying to set up like a genetic library, but like we've been doing that for so long. And then it's like, I need like filler episodes and I've ran out of doing filler episodes. Cause all the filler episodes have been like, all right, let's build this or build this. And it's, it's just repetitive. And I, I don't like it. 
I feel like I've got stuck in a rut, which is honestly another reason why I'm kind of liking doing uh, Subnautica. Also, I need to run and go get titanium. Okay, I got my titanium. We can make our standard oxygen tank. Boom. Now we got, what is it? A minute and 40 seconds. Can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Ooh, I need to quit hitting that. I keep on hitting escape to get out of things. So what did it mean by it can now be upgraded? So I got fins. I got that. What else do I need? Should probably get a repair tool. Let's uh, unpin that. Unpin that. Go up here and we'll unpin this. I'm not worried about food right now. We're doing actually really good on that. Should I get a... You know what? Yeah. Compass would be a good idea at the moment. Now, tools wise, I need a scanner and I need a repair tool. No, I, yeah, I need a repair tool. So, in that order. So, I have that. I don't have that. So, I need one more piece of silver. So, I'll look for that. Um, what else do I need? I need stuff for a battery. Okay, I need another piece of copper and a ribbon plant. Where's ribbon plant? That's probably something I can find. Um, a repair tool is probably also something I can easily make because I can easily find titanium. I know where to get silicone. I actually have a bunch of silicone. Um, where is ribbon plant? Is there anything down in here? Ooh, silver? No, titanium, damn it. So let's grab this oxygen. Let's hope this one's silver. Because last time I came down in here, one of these gave me a piece of silver. Yes, that's all I needed. Now we can technically go back and craft the compass. I might go do that, or... I want to find another piece of copper, and I also want to figure out what this plant is. Is it this? No, that's not it. Um, I'll find it. Okay, I just found them. They were down in here in this little pocket of plant. Also, I'm not liking... No. I'm not liking this at all. Also, I think I can kind of figure out what oxygen. biome I'm in. I know, I know. I'm running out of oxygen. I'm swimming up. There we go. I might try and figure it out. Because we got these this, like, bridge area. Yeah, I believe that's the twisting bridges. I'm just not quite sure where we are from there. I think it's the kelp forest nearby. We got twisting bridges... Is this the sparse arctic over there? If that is, I think I know exactly where we are. That might be. Okay, I know I really shouldn't do this, but it's quite literally, it can wait. We're going to make the battery instead of the copper wire. And then we're going to go make the hand scanner first. Now, I originally I did want to make the compass first, but I feel like this would be... Much more beneficial to have right now than the compass. So All right, I have a scanner. Let's uh let's quickly unpin that. There we go. Yeah, just because of that moment there where we had a close like if you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust. To yep, help just so that way I can get to the faster. surface faster. So now I can scan all this stuff around. Kind of get some research on what the hell is around me. Although I even don't know. Is that red uh, coral? That might be something I can use. But I need to scan like what? Three of these? Yeah. I knew it. They always make you scan three. Two or three. It's always what it is. Always what it's been. Now I'm pretty sure. Those are sea monkeys. That... They're what I'm afraid of having steal my stuff. Limestone chunk. 
and I'll break it. Okay, copper. Yes! Oh, did I scan that and it told me it had copper in it? Is that like a thing you can do now? Is just scan them? And it tells you what's in there? Okay, I'm going somewhere I probably shouldn't be. That is just down. Because I need to see what's over in here. Just so I can get stuff. Alright, there's copper. There's an oxygen thing up there. I need to remember that. We're just going to kind of go along here and break things. I saw something weird. It looked like... Uh, I think it's called a squid shark. I've seen them in the trailer. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like the... What are they? You're not one of them. But you look like one. They're supposed to be kind of one of the more like mild predators. More of a nuisance creature. I also do believe sea monkeys are supposed to be the ones that you can tame. And then they'll bring you stuff. Because they just like doing that with stuff with creatures. Also, titanium. What is this? Grav trap fragment. I thought it was an egg for a second. Shows what I know. Where the hell am I? Sea monkey nest? I feel like I'm in a place I really shouldn't be. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, yep. I should not be here. You know what I can do? I'll save it, because we're already at the surface. I can go back down. Once I get oxygen. Hopefully no sea monkeys target me. I'm surprised they haven't yet, since how I got all this gear now. Uh, this is like their nest, I guess? Is there anything else in here I can scan, or is it just that mobile vehicle bay? I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty awesome. I'm guessing it's just one of their, like, uh, areas where they're hiding. Ooh, fish. Not like I, we already don't have data on hoop fish from the first time I was here. Uh, scan, the, scan the creep vine. Honestly, this is probably stuff I can do off screen. Just, you know, run around scanning stuff. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's use this. There we go. Now we can come back down and we can harvest all these. Something feels weird. Where's my base? You know like when you... You start getting that feeling like you're probably in a place you shouldn't be. Or getting too close to a place you shouldn't be. Quite yet. Yeah. I'm hearing something, too. And it's dark. I'm wondering if I should just head back to the base. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's listen to instinct. Alright. I just feel like we're getting kind of close to some place we might not want to be. Also, are these more... Uh, ribbon plants. Let's scan them this time. Not like I could scan them last time. I needed oxygen. to watch my oxygen. Up, 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 up. That launched me into the air. Okay, let's, uh, let's go home. Um, I'm starting to get to heebie-jeebies. I'm not sure if it's the water or what I was hearing over there, but it sounded like there was something nearby. That I don't like. I wish that my uh, my map would tell me what biome I spawned in here and like pinpoint me exactly. But I'm pretty sure we're in the or near the twisting bridge. I'm not joking. I'm pretty sure I just found out exactly where I'm at. Cause uh, this uh, last uh, PDA I just got, this one, this new one, um, the one that we got over by the sea monkey nest. It's quite literally telling me that we're essentially right on the edge of, uh, we're technically in the Twisting Bridge biome, but we're right on the edge of Sparse and, uh, like a kelp forest around us. But if I'm correct, was I heading towards that thing? 
I might have been heading over to an area called Purple Vents. And there's a Leviathan over there. I'm not sure, though, if that's the way I was heading. Because, again, I don't have the compass. What's that sound? Is it hailing? It is hailing outside. Damn. Alrighty, guys. So that is going to be it for Subnautica Below Zero today. I am sorry about having my little rant about Ark, like, in the middle of it, uh, and what's been going on with it. And I do promise to keep this series going. I hopefully won't, won't quit it, because, I mean, last time I played Subnautica, it was more out of, uh, me not being able to play Ark anymore. So, but hopefully we can just keep going here in Subnautica. I won't get any, like, burnout and, like, give up. So, yeah, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this video... Please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys are notified upon me posting videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshot Mora. Peace out. <laughs>